Hello everybody, this is Abraham with North Shore Computer Services and what I got today is something that's missing from this Honda Odyssey. I was at the library and uh, I remember that in the past I would take the books on tape. So I thought, oh, I don't think there is a CD player in this car. I always knew that there was a DVD player but this only plays for the uh, TV in the back. You could listen to the music on it, but it's kind of awkward to use that for music only. And actually, I don't know if it's going to play music. Let's try it. Let's see if this is actually doable. Oh, there's a DVD in there. Turn the rear entertainment. Yeah, it can play DVD. But what if you want kids to watch the movie and you to play your own CDs? That cannot be done where it was possible. Let's stop that. Where it was possible in the past. Uh, um, because you had the CD player in the uh, um, uh, radio and you had the DVD. So you could still listen to your own stuff if it's on a USB or if it's on an iPod or whatever, but you cannot play CDs directly. I thought I got this external CD ROM. Let's see if it's going to work with the plug that is designed for other USB devices. We'll plug this in. Get this opened. Take our music disc. Put it in. Then I thought, ha, how do I turn it on? Well, it's easy. You go to home and you go to USB and right now it says error I thought there must be something that can be done about this problem I mean this car uses a computer and it should be able to recognize an external CD-ROM or something so I started researching I did research for a while and I came across a device that today we're going to see if it's going to work. I just got it in the mail. Let's see. So this thing is not working. Let's get this out. Yeah, see, once you pull out your DVD, it says nothing's plugged in. So it does recognize something's plugged in. But you cannot use a computer uh, CD or DVD ROM to use in the car. Okay, let's, let's open the package. Here we are. It has arrived. Let's open and see what's inside. Ah, the fresh smell of new. This is it. It's got a USB connection. And it's a DVD video system. Uh, I don't know if you can play videos on it, but it is a DVD player. In the package, there is also a Velcro to attach it somewhere. So, let's see how this works.
Okay, we're back in the car. Let me remove this. Let's plug it in. So it just made a noise. Uh, let's switch out and back into a USB. And let's put the disc in. It's loading right now, initializing. Whoa! Let's see, songs. There are the tracks. How about that? We have Uh, an ability to play CDs in the car. This thing goes right here and the Velcro is used to attach it and it fits perfectly. Um, needs, needs a little bit of uh, fitment, better fitment I guess. There is your music disc. It's a little tight in here. I'll have to think on what to do there. But there you have it. We can play CDs separately from the DVDs in a car. Okay, so let's put that in. Let's put our DVD in. Due to all this copyright, I can't actually play. So here is the disc, the video disc that is gonna be playing. So that's that's the sound from the video. And if we switch to USB, we can play our music and kids can still watch the DVD because the DVD is still on. Right. Turn it off. CD, and now we have the CD. It works beautifully. All right, let's pull out this unit. I am anxious to take it apart uh, to see how this unit is different from just a regular uh, computer drive. There must be some <clears throat> electronics in here that is telling the car audio that it should be able to play uh, discs. And I haven't tested it <clears throat> with an MP3. It says MP3 here. Uh, let's see if it's gonna play, what it's gonna do if we put <coughs> a video disc in there. Ouch. Well, it's made for car. Shouldn't be afraid of knocks and bumps. <coughs> Okay, <laughs> so you cannot play a video discs in here, you get that error, but you can play audio discs, and that's really all I wanted from it. I'm also curious if it's possible 
to use this with a computer as an external CD-ROM? I don't see why not. It's a USB interface. Let's see that. We have a computer here. Let's plug it in. I don't see why it shouldn't work. Okay, let's get it. Come on, computer. All right. Let's put our music disc in. Some things not recognized. Here it is, audio. And here are all the tracks. So it looks at the audio as a data CD, but it is recognizing it and we can play it, possibly. It's something I've never done on this computer. I'll tell you that, Honda's computer is faster than this thing. This is an i5. It's supposed to be fast. Oh, there it is, loading. But I think it's slow because I've never had the player. Um, so it was initializing something. Yep. I don't hear any sound. Yeah, there is sound. Okay. It does work. It recognizes it as an audio CD. Uh, so it's just a regular CD-ROM when it's connected to a computer. And it's a unique CD-ROM when it's connected to car audio. I don't know if this is strictly for Honda. Uh, it would be nice to test it on other cars. I don't have other cars to test it on. I don't think so. Uh, at any rate, when I bought it, I had to specify it was a Honda. So I don't know if this is a universal or not. I will check and perhaps put it in a comment if I um, find out that it plays with other cars. Thanks for watching. Give me a like if you liked the video. Enjoy, subscribe, and save money. Oh, uh, I got this online, and it was about uh, $80, give or take. And the search I did was for car CD player. Took me quite a while to find this one. Uh, there are many other kinds. There is one that costs $300 or $400, comes with a special adapter. I don't know, don't buy that one. This one is under a hundred bucks. You can get it, you can find it. Uh, if you take a picture, I'll try and put this uh, in a, a thumbnail for the video. All right, thanks for watching.